Okay, so I'm no pro, but I've been uh, building this little Les Paul uh, knockoff DIY guitar for a while now, and I ran into some issues I was trying to fix, and I wanted to point out that there's some cool tricks I learned just from figuring out, well, how can I do this? And one of the things, the ground wire that you need to put on uh, comes from the back. If you go up in there, there's a little hole that's supposed to come out here. And the ground wire that goes in there, I had already put the posts on, and I was thinking, well, how am I going to get those off? And as you can probably tell just from looking at it, you know, it's all scratched up a little bit, and there's some nicks right there, which you know, we'll fix those later. Get some lacquer thinner on there and clean that out, buff that out, whatever. But I needed to get in there to put the hardware in, and I couldn't think of a good way to do it. Well, I got this little, got this little Dunlop rag with the, um, to be honest, I don't even remember what I got it with. It, it came with, I, oh, I think this, uh, this lemon oil, ultimate lemon oil that I'm using for the, the fretboard and uh, combo pack that also had the uh, guitar polish and cleaner in it. So that was a pretty good product, and it came with a couple of these rags. Well, I found out an easy way to get this off uh, is with this. This happens to be metric because it, you know, it's a cobalt brand, and this is a ten. So if you take the rag, and you know the old thing they say about you can only fold paper so many times. If you uh, fold the rag once, and then twice, and then three times, four five, six, and then you can't go any further than that. But if you put the wrench in there and then push that down, well, you can just right out of there. And if you want to be more gentle with it than I was, you know, to avoid any scratches, then you can always use the trusty little hammer. Uh, make sure it's a soft mallet like that. But that's one thing you can do with this rag. And another cool thing you can do that I found is if you take the, if you need to get these knobs off, sometimes they can be a real pain in the butt, you don't want to scratch them up or anything. So what I've done is you take the cloth and you work it up under there and you catch it like this and then you just pull it right off. It comes right off real easy and you can easily put it back on when you're ready. Uh, you can always tune mine to Straight up, zero, and then boop, just like that. Oh yeah. So anyways, I hope that helps somebody out there. I'm not sure how clear I was getting in there. Um, but hopefully this will help someone, and they'll like what they saw, and uh, they'll find it useful. And keep you from making problems like that, and like this. And Anyway, it's a learning process. Take care, everybody.